Okay, so I, I will just start that I'm a, a professor of hydrology at the University of Costa Rica, so Central America, um, uh, which is not too dissimilar, but um, a different context. Um, uh, but we're still in, in Latin America, so some of the water-related issues are, are similar, and then we can relate to that. And um, uh, maybe 10 years ago, I started to collaborate um, with the University of Cuenca in a project financed by Germany. So um, uh, we had student lecture exchange and we've um, uh, been in contact ever since. So I've supervised students here at the University of Cuenca. Um, uh, students came to Costa Rica to visit and work with me. So there has been uh, um, uh, a pretty strong relationship with um, uh, Cuenca over the years. So yeah, no, no, and I'm, I'm definitely happy to, to be here and, and involved in the, the conference and everything. Yes, I have to say Cuenca is really um, a positive example of how um, uh, you know water-related issues um, can be handled, and especially how the university is involved in in taking action in in, in decision making. So there is a pretty good, from my perspective at least, you know. So I'm coming from outside, so I'm looking at it, you know, almost as as a tourist. But um, there is a strong relationship between the University of Cuenca and the universities in general, with um, the city of Cuenca, with um, the hydropower um, company, um, uh, with the agricultural sector. So um, they communicate, and I think um, uh, you know um, the, the the city of Cuenca takes decisions based on the evidence University of Cuenca provides. So this is an excellent example from from my perspective because um, that in Costa Rica, for example, in Central America, doesn't happen very often. So there's the university, and um, you know other people take the decisions, and it's very hard, you know, to to come together and 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 work together. So this is um, a, a very positive impression I have of how it works for the year. So I always tell my students, you know, about about Puenca and, and this this positive example about um, how water is um, managed in, uh, in in Ecuador in general, because there are other examples. Quito as well, the water funds. You know, one of the, the the first water funds in the world was established in 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 Quito, and it still works. It's it's amazing. So there are some really really good examples, um, uh, you know, to the world of how it should be done from Ecuador. Yeah, yeah. So for, for me, from the very technical, scientific side of things, this is a conference to um, uh, to get in touch with um, uh, people from other disciplines, you know, a broader context um, uh, to talk about possible solutions, you know, everybody from, from, from their specific um, context and discipline. So this conference is very particular in bringing together, you know, people from science, private sector, public sector. Um, uh, and um, uh, I really appreciate that. So um, uh, it's, it's once in a while, you know, this type of um, multidisciplinary, um, uh, broader conferences really help to kind of put a context to what you're very specifically doing in, in, in research, for example, in my case.